Yes, you read the title right. This is the conclusion to the Challenger build series. It is the finale. Now, whenever I started this series, I didn't intend for it to be this. I had no idea that it would get to be this huge of what a project is. I, I had no idea. So whenever I posted that first Challenger video, I thought, oh, it might, it might get a few hundred thousand views. I mean, people are gonna like this video. As of me recording this, it has 8.5 million. You guys absolutely love the beginning of the Challenger. And I did too. I gotta admit, I have always wanted a Challenger. When I was a kid, I grew up uh, dad having Challengers and Kudas around. I grew up watching Vanishing Point with uh, the Hemi 4-speed. So my dream has always been to have a Challenger with a 4-speed in it. And now I have that. I've got that. Yeah. I could never imagine the day or time when it would come, but it's finally here. Now when I bought this car, did I know that it would be such a basket case? No. I didn't realize that it had a bad frame rail until I got home. I had no idea. I just so happened to look under it whenever I was about to load it off the trailer, and I noticed that the frame rail was gone. So, yeah, it did kind of shock me a little bit. It kind of took me off guard, and was I equipped to do what I did? Some can say yes, some can say no. I've enjoyed every bit of it. I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot what not to do, and those are the important ones that you need to hang on to. And I've had so much fun with it. I've had a lot of heartache, a lot of uh, pain, a lot of uh, trials and error, and I've had a lot of successes, a lot of uh, mistakes, more mistakes than, than you would think. But I've had so much more fun building this car than I would ever have imagined. And it's all thanks to you guys for allowing me to have the platform that I did. So what's next with the Challenger? Uh, drive it, enjoy it, use it for what it is, a, a car. That yes, you're gonna look at this car, you're gonna say, man, what about the door? What about the rust? What about the paint? One day, we'll talk about that in a second. But what I wanna do is put miles on it. I wanna walk, I wanna just like log some miles and, and really get to places and, and enjoy this thing. I actually have just now rolled over 200 miles on the odometer for my Dakota digital gauges. And now that's not to say that the series ending is the end of the Challenger. It's not gonna be like the Charger where it just totally vanishes from the channel and you never see it again. I don't want that to happen. You'll probably see it in the background. You'll probably see me drive it somewhere. If I, if I go look at a car, I'll probably drive this. If I go to a car show, more than likely we'll drive this. So if you're in an event that I will be at, I'll more than likely be in this car. So you can see it in person. Power Tour, you guys know that we like to do this. This car was originally going to be built. Power Tour 2020, but it ended up getting canceled due to the uh, quarantine, the pandemic. So instead, uh, we're actually hopefully, we're actually hopefully gonna go for 2021 Power Tour. If that happens, this car will be there. And I am excited to, to make sure that this car is in tip top shape for that instead of rushing and doing it all last minute. This car is, is awesome, it's ready to go. I, I've had a lot of fun with it. So as far as video goes, yes, this is the finale for the build series. There will be no more videos posted about building the challenge. With that being said though, I will post some videos of enjoying the challenge. And one thing I want to do is post a start to finish video of part one all the way to the finale of building this car all in one video so you can sit down and watch the entire series in one go. We can reflect and look back on what I did wrong, what I didn't do wrong, or it's all up to interpretation. But uh, after that too, I'd like to maybe possibly do uh, some reaction stuff, just people reacting to the car and seeing it for the first time or riding it for the first time and see what they think about it because it is a lot to take in. It is, a, it is quite a sight, it's quite a ride. It's a, a lot of a, it's a lot of fun to drive. So that, that's something I'd like to do eventually. But yes, the Challenger Series is coming to an end after this video. I gotta, I gotta give you guys the thanks for all of it, for allowing me to do what I do. And with all that, I'd like to move back to doing some more uh, videos on other stuff, other projects. I've got so many things lined up that I want to work on, and I want you guys to follow along. Make sure you're subscribed because we're going to have a lot of projects that are coming. I mean, I've got so much stuff lined up, you wouldn't believe. I've got uh, a lot of really cool cars that, that need revival.
surviving, basically. We want to get back to uh, going way back to the blue charger back in 2016, back when I started doing stuff like that. Um, I want to really get back into to doing things like that and just bringing these cars back to what they were supposed to be. Hope you guys uh, hang around and enjoy the video series just as much as I do. And I appreciate everything you've done for me. But now I want to talk about the exterior of the car. Now look at the dents and the rust in this car as room for improvement, obviously. Now I've talked about before, I wanted to kind of keep the character of the car as is. And you know, eventually with time, as it goes on and I drive the car more and enjoy the car for what it is, uh, I will eventually fix the things on it, such as the door, the rust, and, and what have you. So uh, not to say that it won't happen, but for right now, it's not gonna happen. Mainly just because I wanna use it as a car and the door doesn't bother me. It shuts and closes just fine, just like the passenger side does, so it's not a big deal. Um, yeah, one day we'll probably fix it. Um, but for now, I just want to use it as a car and do exactly what I want to do with it, and that's drive it. And I kind of look at it the way that uh, in my own life, how um, when you know when Jesus came into my life, I I was like this challenger, rough and beat up. But as time goes on, I'm able to you know Im improve on myself and, and slowly build that relationship with Him. So you guys just uh, realize what's important in your life. Put God first. No project car is ever finished. So yeah, there are some things that I want to fix in the meantime. Like I'd like to put a different hood on this car. I want to put a, a TA hood on it. And But other than that, there's really not a whole lot that I'd like to do to it in the, in the, the short time frame. Uh, just a couple odds and ends, a little small details, but I uh, really just want to drive it and use it for what this car is intended to do. And the whole purpose of this build was to really show you guys that you can have a lot of fun on a budget. Now this car, I know it's not perfect, and it's definitely ugly in some places, and beauty's in the eye of the beholder, I'd say. But I've had a lot of fun building it, and I've had a lot of fun interacting with you guys, and uh, I, I gotta thank everyone who's followed along from day one on this thing, and putting up with uh, how long it's taken for us to get to this point. And eventually, yes, the car will be maybe painted. I, I think that it's, it's, a, it's inevitable at some point. I would like for this car to be totally nice and totally done. But for right now, uh, I want to use the car for what it's intended to do, and that's to drive the wheels off of it. This is something that you don't have to have a YouTube channel to do. You don't have to have a, an engineering degree to make happen. You just have to have the passion and the love for cars and the willingness to learn to make this stuff happen. I've never done a Hemi swap before until this car. There's a lot of things that this car taught me and I hope that you guys can learn on the way. So uh, get out there, find you a ratty Mopar, find you a ratty Chevy, a ratty Ford, or anything for that matter. Uh, do what you want with it. Drive it. Hemi swap it. It don't matter what brand it is. LS swap it. I don't care. Just get out there and make it happen. That's that's all that you can do. I gotta thank all the sponsors for making this happen. We have Classic Industries provide a ton of sheet metal and interior work. Uh, we had uh, Holly. They provided us the Terminator X EFI system for the Hemi, the entire harness, and that made everything as smooth as butter to make this thing run. I uh, gotta thank Brewers Performance providing all the transmission parts, Dakota Digital for providing that beautiful gauge cluster. I uh, gotta thank uh, Be Quiet Sound Deadening for giving us that, that nice interior lining to make sure this thing's not noisy on the inside and painless performance for rewiring the entire car. I mean, it's, it's all brand new. Mechanically, this car is a new car. It just looks like garbage on the outside, and that's what I like about it. It's really unassuming, and you wouldn't expect it to be what it is whenever you first look at it. Until you really dig into it, you really don't know what you're looking at. The biggest thing I gotta thank is you guys for sticking around from day one, from part one on this series, and uh, I, I can't imagine doing this without the support and the, the generosity and that you guys have provided because it's been it's just been great to really build this car from the ground up and and do so much with so little i really want you guys to get out there and work on your own projects and make this stuff happen because uh it's it's totally possible anybody can do this